Hello, my wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers all over the world. This is Okute Daily Talk bringing to us this very broadcast of this afternoon. Today is a Monday, 12th of December, in the year of 2022. This year is gradually going, 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 gone. So my good people of Biafra land, the people of uh, Nigeria, or mistake of a country called Nigeria, and the people of Africa and the world at large, I still remain your one and only Okute Daily Talk bringing to us this afternoon broadcast. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, or this is your first time of hearing my voice or watching my content, please endeavor to subscribe and turn on the notification button, be the first to be notified each time. I post something new on my channel or will go live on this channel. So please, without not taking much of our time, you know the culture, how it's always be. We take the headlines, then we come back to the stories or the main stories that uh, gladdens our heart, that we need to extract some wisdoms and also learn from them. So please, tighten your seatbelts, we are about to take off. Update. Panic in Abakaliki over government invasion because of unholy and uh, and the unprecedented uh, uh, sit at home order that I've never ordered by anybody. Simply because uh, Simon Epa thinks that uh, staying in uh, his comfort zone, he can do and command whatever he likes in the eastern region, and people will obey him. Well, I don't blame him. I blame those. Those, those, our Eastern Mumus, who everything that go across their ear is what they will be. Why my tweet on Deborah's mother, mother was deleted. Atiku, we will see uh, what happens now. Why you go delete the tweet? Because they have, uh, they, 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 they threaten not to vote for you. That is why you deleted the tweet. And you are calling yourself a unifier. Uh, I wonder why all these, our TV presenters have not been hammering on this. Somebody who calls himself a unifier, you are going to unify both the Christian and the Muslim and the Atonists and the uh, pagan worshippers and the rest of them. Yet, you could not sympathize or even uh, condemn the killing of Deborah somewhere. You post and you delete it. When you are being asked, you give one excuse, one flimsy excuse that uh, it was a... Uh, 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 they never get a confirmation before they post it. Uh, since you never get confirmation before they, they post it, why can't you do the okay? They confirm with your media and let them repost the thing back since you know what you are doing. Nigerian mobile subscribers hit 210 million in August. NCC articles convoy nearly killed me, nearly killed me in Abuja on honor can arrest audio. So, articles convoy now you are going uh, with leg. And then they nearly kill you. I don't know why all these people that make uh, spokesperson that they have vowed that uh, this country can never be good. That is why they keep on selling nonsense for product to the to 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 the general public, lying in every now and then, even to the extent of attacking the the presenters. I mean uh, the 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 the, uh, 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 the media heads because they want to protect their principal. Who are turned to be their paymaster. That is why they can do anything humanly possible to make sure that uh, they sell that product, even that product has expired for a very long time. My dear people, that is how we take CMO. So let us go straight into the news of the day. Starting from the invasion of the government on non government, I be government, I be non government in uh, Abakaliki, Ebony State. There was panic in Abat Abakaliki, capital of Ebony State, on Monday. That is today, following rumors of government invasion of the city causing residents to run for their lives. Residents open for normal business activities when rumors of the invasion by government said to be implementing the five-day sit-at-home declared by pro-separatist pro groups in the south southeast and filtered in. The sit-at-home, which was denied by indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, was said to have been declared by fin Finland-based Simon Ekpa. The situation led to a rowdy situation in the city with traders forced to close their shops and retire to their homes. Many others took refuge in hotels and anywhere they could find or fear 
for fear of uh, running into the government. Abakliki was fully deserted as citizens scampered for safety while thousands of traders abruptly closed their shops for fear of being killed. An eyewitness in Chidebere said the government invaded Ahia Ohono market and started shooting sporadically to scare people away. According to him, people who were around saw the unknown gunmen who rode on two moto motorcycles with guns. They were shooting anyhow to scare people away. They even burned down a shop belonging to a woman. They saw the woman bringing out her goods outside. They met her and told her to close the shop. The woman was asking them what offense did she commit before you knew it. They poured fuel on the shop and set it ablaze. They were four in number. A source who pleaded an empty said he had to run into a hotel to take refuge. I am taking refuge in a hotel now. I went to buy a recharge card opposite government house when I saw people running. People hurriedly packed their things inside their shops while traffic policemen on duty opposite government house immediately changed their clothes. <laughs> okay, 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 policemen, policemen on duty opposite government house immediately changed their clothes. <laughs> oh, please, you boys will not mind me. This is our work, eh? Nothing we know go see for this work, oh. They immediately changed their clothes to what now? Nah? What color did they change their clothes? Because they had a, a shooting and they changed their clothes. Well, my dear people, I mean, my dear police people, <laughs> are you people cannot go and kill yourself for a government who never cared for the policemen. Most of uh, the policemen who have died leaving their family and wives, nobody takes care to them. Even uh, at a point, they have to chase them from the police barracks where they were living when the husband, uh, the husband was alive. So the husband dead, they chased the woman out of her. Uh, not even one, not even two, a lot of them. They will chase them out of the quarters where they are living to go and find their way. That is, uh, that is Nigeria for you. So, seeing the policemen, they change their clothes to something else. You don't blame them because if you die today, nobody is going to take care of your family. I see a lot of policemen have been killed and none is even care for them. The, 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 the country that never care for living, people that are living, in the talk of people that are dead, even if you look at our pensioners, they die, keep dying their numbers, waiting for gratuity that, 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 that never manifests. So that is the country we are living into. I drove out of that area, following heavy gun, gunshots to, to quickly, quickly, where the road is deserted. People have parked their tents inside their shops along that old Enugu road. If you are still in your houses, remain there until calm returns, the source said. Videos and pictures seen on social media showed people running in different directions. Another source said he had to run to friend's house for safety on hearing gunshots. I'm also taking refuge at my friend's abode. I ran from seat, I ran from sight, mechanic village, just before a uh, spara in, in Du Junction. I had gunshots and people were running for safety. I managed to get to Agu Street from Covenant Road, the source disclosed. But police spokesperson Chris Anger will debunk the allegations of shootings by gunmen in the city. Why not? They will debunk it. Can't you hear that your men, they change their clothes. They don't want them to kill them for nothing's sake. In a thousand message, he, he said, rumors of killing and burning within the metropolis, renting, uh, renting the air. There is no cause for alarm. A boy state is calm. However, if anything in the contrary is confirmed, I will come up with updates and briefs, please, according to the police spokesperson. Commissioner of Police, Ebony State, Ali Ugaroba, said there was no invasion by government in the state. He asked the citizens of the state to remain calm. Garoba noted further that he had deployed hundreds of police officers to go on patrol looking for the said unknown government. But a Boeing State government confirmed the attack by government on a provision shop at Ayo 4 Market. That's how you people keep lying to the public. They say there is no government. Why people are running? For, look at the whole street is deserted. The pictures and videos we, see, we saw online. SS Special Security Consultant SSC to the state government, Stanley Okoro, MLR, 
stated this in a statement from the government's house. He ordered the people to go about their businesses as the city itself and under control of security agencies. This is to inform all government officials, civil servants, as well as the general public to confidently go ahead about their lawful engagements as what just happened in a boy state was misconstructed and escalated by unscrupulous elements to cause panic and apprehension among the peace-loving people of a boy state. For charity purposes, it was a gang of hoodlums that invaded Ayofu along Abekeleke Enugu Highway where they partially attacked a provision shop causing a stir around the houses, he said. Emera noted that no life was lost as being circulated by rumor mongers and enemies of the state. He said all government functions cease stand as scheduled because the state is fully and absolutely under control. The men of Ibubago and other security agencies have been drafted to, strat to strategic uh, locations while others are on patrol to further secure the citizens and their properties. Please be rest assured that our men are tracking down on them and very soon they will be arrested and prosecuted according to the law, he said, uh, he said, ends. And that is all you need to know about the unrest in uh, Ebo State, Abakiliki. Despite the fact that the, the security operatives, they will never agree to that because they are full of lies. Everything they do is lie. Everything they told us on social media is lie. So you can't blame them. That is what they are being paid for. They cannot defend the people. They cannot defend their property. Even lives cannot even guarantee. And you keep on lying to people on daily basis. And that is why all these hoodlums keep getting revenge on the, the, the gorebos, I mean the poor masses. Why my tweet on Deborah's mother was deleted? Article. Let's see. The unifier. Unifier of women. The presidential character of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has explained. He deleted the tweet condemning the mother of Deborah Samuel, a student who was launched for alleged, for alleged blasphemy. He said the tweet was deleted because it was shared without his approval. Nonsense. The nation had reported that Deborah, a Christian 200 level student of Shehu Shegari, College of Education of Sokoto, was gruesomely killed by fellow students for allegedly blasphemy blaspheming uh, Prophet Muhammad. Article Y answered questions during the Chinese television's People's Town Hall meeting on, sal on Sunday was asked why he deleted which where he condemned the act. In response, he said, I asked the tweet to be deleted because I normally approve every tweet and since I did not approve the tweet, I asked them to delete it. If you read my sub uh, subsequent statement on that murder, I condemned it. Then why did you tell them to delete the tweet? That is a simple question. He said, they didn't get your approval before they post it, right? From your, uh, your own verified account. Okay, since it, it, they didn't get your approval before they post it, I asked them to take it down. Have you ever write another one again? At least something that is similar to that. To show the people that want to vote for you that, yes, this man really showed concern for the death of uh, Deborah Samuel. You have not done that. And you are here telling us uh, stories upon stories. And they call you unifier. You want to unify the whole country, unify both Christian and Muslim and the artistic, uh, pagan and the rest of other worshippers, even in Northern Ireland. You want to unify everybody together, yet you couldn't condemn the kill of Deborah Samuel. He said that we didn't get your approval before they post it. That is why you, you told them to delete it. Then let them post another one. Uh, at least to show the people, the general public, that yes, I really show concern for the gruesome mother of this very young girl. A tweet posted on Article's verified Twitter page after the mother of Deborah reads, there cannot be a justification for the such gruesome mother. Deborah Yakubu was murdered and uh, all those behind her death must be brought to justice. My condolences to her family and friends. That is that is what you need to prove her. And, and, and you all them to delete it when the 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 Arewayus commented that you will not get their vote coming 2023 and they are here lying to us. However, a few hours after the post, Atiku deleted the tweet and took to Facebook to justify his actions. Why can't you write that your actions on the that same Twitter? In a message in his verified house page, the presidential candidate distanced himself from the message, also stating that any message on social media 
without the initials AA was not from him. Uh, uh, this evening I received information that a post was made that doesn't agree with my orders. I use this to announce that any post without AA is not for me. May God protect us, he wrote in our language. You see him? Have you seen it? After much more, you have to go and wrote in our language that that tweet is not from you. Why can't you write it in English then, if not have AA? Can't you see how, how you people have turned people into morons? You think people are just a mumu following you people? Yeah? Nobody is, a, nobody is a fool, and we are not fools following you people or agreeing for what you people said. But for the fact on playing on our intelligence is what is unacceptable at all in this coming 2023. Simply, they have threatened you that if you not take that thing down, they will not vote for you coming 2023. That is the simple truth. And it was in a, in a, some people snapshot uh, the comment on that very post. And keep it. Because tomorrow, you will come out and say, oh, there's nothing of such. People have snapshot it and even store it on their distant, what do I call it, on their flash drives. Because everything can forget, but the internet never forgets. We will remind you this word when the time is right. Just keep on fooling yourself. I think you think you are fooling Nigerians simply because you are canvassing for food. Nigerian mobile subscribers hit 210 million in August. NCC. The Nigerian Communication Commission said no fewer than 210 million Nigerians have been active mobile subscribers in Nigeria as of August with a tele with a tele density of 109.99%. The executive chairman of uh, NCC, Prophet Omar Dambata, stated this on Monday at the NCC Day at the 43rd Kano International Trade Fair. Dambata, represented by the Deputy Director, Consumer Affairs of the Commission, Mr. Banji Ojo, said that internet subscribers in the country has exceeded 152 Point two million, with a broadband uh, penetration of forty-four point fifty-six percent. According to him, information and communication technology (ICT) is not the only fastest-growing industry, but is also an important enabler of innovation and development in every country. The, tele the telecommunication sector is a, a strategic uh, driver of the digital economy, especially in the activities of, activities of small and medium enterprises across Nigeria and beyond. That is the simple truth. So we, we keep moving forward. He said that the commission had embarked on digital literacy training for entrepreneurs across the six geopolitical zones of this country. He said that the aim was to equip small scale business owners with the requisitic skills and generate ideas for the development of products and services that could export it. None, according to them. So that is all you need to know about the 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 the, the Nigerian mobile subscriber that hit 210 million in August of this year. Uh, NCC laments. A Chiku convoys nearly killed me in Abuja. Said, uh, said by uh, um, uh, Bayo Ononoga, narrates his audio. The Director of Media and Publicity of the All Progressive Congress, APC Presidential Campaign Council, Bayo Ononoga, has revealed how he was nearly crushed to death by a vehicle in the convoy of the presidential candidate of People's Democratic Party, Atika Abubakar. In a post via his Facebook page, Ononoga said the incident occurred along Shehushegari Expressway, Abuja, on Sunday evening. Ononoga described, described the incident as a closed shave with death, adding that the accident occurred as he was going back home after visiting Senator Tokumbo Afikuyomi Afi, Afi at around 9 p.m. on Sunday. He however said he followed the convoy to his final destination in T.Y. Danjuma area of Abuja where he discovered that the, vice, the VIP being Fared was uh, Atiku. He wrote, I had a close shave with death on Sunday night in Abuja as I was returning home at about 9 p.m. after a visit to Senator Tokumbo at Fiku Yomi. I was driving on the last lane of Shehu Shegari Way when I noticed a convoy emerging from one of the feeder roads. I counted in the I 
counted in the center lane four vehicles ahead of me i slowed down on my own lane to give a wide berth to the convoy my slowing down turned a mistake as a toyota suv emerged from the same road where the convoy had earlier emerged it headed straight to my car i was i was petrified as the driver rammed into my Toyota Camry by the passenger side. The force of the collision immediately uh, severed the side mirror from the body, from the body, severely dented and scratched the two doors on each part. I watched in horror as the driver of the SUV reversed the car and joined the Cavacaded, leaving me behind to my fate. He didn't bother to stop to check the damage his car had done to my own car, whether he had left me or anyone inside it traumatized by his recklessness. He just drove away. Instinctively, I followed the convoy which headed to Asokoro area of the city. At this point, I didn't know the VIP embedded in the convoy. Initially, I thought it was a governor as the car that hit me bought a number plate that start with RSH. My interest in following the convoy was to lodge a complaint about the moderate driver and get my car repaired. The convoy drove deep into Asokuru, into T.Y. Danjuma Road, and then entered one of the mansions, at the entrance of which were 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 several banners of Atiku Okowa campaign. I drove into the compound with the convoy as I had my hazard light on like other vehicles in the convoy. My adventure was certainly getting interesting. I, an APC and Tulumbu campaign campaigner inside the PDP Atiku Okowa then. He added, who was the big man whose convoy nearly killed me? Was it Okowa or Atiku? or an article supporter. Up to this point, I had no idea as the mystery big man had been shepherded sh 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 into the house, well ahead of me by the security heirs who now accosted me as I wanted to enter the house. You can't just enter the house. One of the heirs blustered as some policemen blocked my path as well. One of your drivers nearly killed me at the secretariat. He he damaged my car. I shouted back and demanded to see their big man. Our argument was creating a scene as more people came closer to behold the audacious intruder that I seemed to be. Another head asked me to show him the damage to the car. He introduced himself as the chief of the staff and gave an undertaking to repair the car. He tendered an apology as well. His approach mollified me. I gave him my complimentary card and we set phone numbers. Moments after I entered my car to continue my interrupted journey home because I had not cracked the mystery big man, I stopped outside to ask a guard about the owner of the house where I just emerged. It is Atiku, he said. Another neighbor also confirmed this. As I drove off into the night and shared my experience with Senator Afiki Yomi and others. I simultaneously imagined what the headline would have been if the accident had been more severe or had resulted into some fatality. That is all we have for us this very moment of, of truth, this very moment of uh, Unanoga Odia with the Atiku's convoy while he's going back home, according to him. According to Igbo adage, Person will go a very far distant journey and lie there. Nobody accompany him to that journey. So you only you have the experience and you didn't even send us. Uh, we don't even see the picture of that car that has been damaged. You know, you people have turned everything to be to be politics. You keep on politicizing every situation that comes your way. You have a very uh, terrible experience with articles uh, convoy. And here you are you are, you are posting articles uh, uh, photo. Why can't you at least, now that your car, you claim to be damaged and post it here so that people can see and know exactly that what you are saying is the truth. Everything about you people are politics. Everything is politics. I mean, how can, I mean, we are, when can all this nonsense stop in this, our country, Nigeria? 
first you are selling your your fake product to nigerians by force second you 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 you, you are insulting the, the the tv presenters who organized a town hall meeting invited your 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 principal to attend you people deny him of going that event. See yet, you did not even stop there. You keep on abusing uh, Dr. Abati and uh, and uh, uh, Rufa, Rufa Yoseni of not doing their work well. Are we into um, what is that? Are we into autocratic uh, government uh, uh, kind of thing in Nigeria now, or are we are into democracy? So there's no more freedom of speech in Nigeria unless you are among the elites. That is when you will speak freely without nobody interfering at you. Anyway, sure, whatever it is, the only God can save us in this country because everything has turned upside down. It is, it is the other way around in Nigeria. May the Almighty to go be able to see us through and protect us from all these evil politicians that have vowed to sink the country even before it is time reach. And I have told these people several times that it is high time this country be separated or they put it, this country for sale. So that they will just sell it, everybody will share their money and find their way and become a, 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 a um, what would I call it, and foreigners in another, in, an, in another man's land. As simple as that. Instead of even being in our own land, say, in our own country, we look like foreigners. Because those people who are foreigners in our land now are the ones taking our, our ancestral lands, sending us to IDPs, sending us away from our own uh, uh, lands and occupying them. So we are like foreigners. So selling the country now and giving us uh, our own share of the, the money we derive from the selling and we, we, we use it to look for another country and become foreigners there. I think it's more better than being foreigners in our own land. Whereby the foreigners we accepted to come and be with us or live with us, interact with us, are the one now controlling the affairs of the, of the, of the nation. Well, it is not their fault. The, fault, the, the mistakes have been made. The only way we can do is just find a way to correct the mistakes. If not, there's nothing more, nothing less. The country keep on dying on daily basis because it is not their country and they don't know anything about the country. So they can do whatever they like to make sure that the country sink. Imagining the president of a nation cannot do anything in the country other than building bridges and buying cars for another country. What for? What that country have contributed to our own economy to warrant such an investment? Is what we cannot tell. Where well, my dear people of Biafra, the lovers of freedom and the lovers of mankind, this is where we are coming at the end of this broadcast. If you are not subscribed, please endeavor to do that as soon as possible and turn on the notification button. Be the first to be notified each time we go live or post something new on our channel. But I come your way again. Bye for now.